Hey everybody, hola, this is uh, Puerto Rico Hurricane News here, 11.06 a.m. Monday. Well, uh, Hurricane Maria has rapidly intensified into a major hurricane. She's currently at Category 3 strength. You can see all of the deep convection exploding around, around the center of circulation here. There's a lot you know, more convection to the west as well and wrapping around the system. Let's take a look at the public advisory issued at 11 a.m. from the National Hurricane Center. Uh, category three hurricane, maximum sustained winds at 120 miles per hour. Uh, located about 60 miles east of, uh, of Martinique. And uh, present movement west-northwest at 10 miles per hour. The minimum central pressure, 959 millibars. Uh, it's quite a, quite a strong strong hurricane. Uh, hurricane warning is now in effect for the U.S. Virgin Islands. Hurricane watch is in effect uh, for, for Puerto Rico, Vieques and Culebra. Let's take a look at the current forecast track. This is the track from the 11 o'clock update. Excuse me, 8 o'clock. Let me see if uh, there's an update here. Here it is, the 11 a.m. update. Right now at 11 a.m. Monday, here is the center of, of Maria. Um, tropical storm winds are out here. Hurricane force winds are around the center of circulation here. Movement is expected to continue on this west, west northwest, northwesterly track. Uh, impacts in the area of Puerto Rico, 8 a.m. Wednesday as a major hurricane. Let me go back real quick to the information about hurricane force winds extend outward up to 15 miles from the center, same as yesterday. Tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 100, 125 miles. Let's look at the, uh, this is also a, a very helpful tool. This shows us the uh, percentage chance of tropical storm force winds sustained at 39 miles per hour or more. As you can see, uh, Puerto Rico is, uh, for the most part, 90 to 100 uh, percent likelihood of seeing those winds. This is the estimated time, um, the most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds. This is to give you a, a rough guide of when winds sustained at 39 miles per hour or greater will start blowing. Uh, Tuesday, 8, p um, 8 p.m., U.S. Virgin Islands, Vieques, Culebra, uh, and then steadily moving west through Puerto Rico, uh, Wednesday, 8 a.m. at the West Coast. So your, your preparations uh, should be done by, by tomorrow morning, for sure. Take a look real quick at the, um, the model output. This is the, the European model. Okay, now the, the modeling is showing uh, different areas of landfall. This is showing landfall at uh, 11 a.m. on Wednesday, the center of circulation approaching the southeast coast. Let's put it in motion. And then the eye moving along the southern coast. This is um, uh, 2 p.m. on Wednesday. Next frame. This is, uh, this is late afternoon, early evening on Wednesday. You see the eye in the Lajas area. And then this is um, uh, this is 7 p.m. on Wednesday, the eye offshore of Mayaguez. Now that's the European. Here is the American model. Uh, this is Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. Center of circulation is just to the east of St. Croix. Let's put it in motion. Okay, 9 a.m. Wednesday, center of circulation is approaching um, Vieques. 11 a.m., center of circulation is entering the Fajardo area. And let's go to uh, 1 p.m., center of circulation is approaching San Juan. So you can take a look at the current forecast from the National Hurricane Center. It looks like um, they're kind of, they're, they're, you know, they're, uh, they're trying to split the difference between the European, which goes on a track like this, and the American which goes on a track like this. So you can see, it looks like they're splitting the difference right down the middle. 
Now, one thing I didn't mention from the beginning, but this is important. This is called the cone of uncertainty. And if you've watched earlier videos, you've heard me talk about that. This means that the center of circulation can cross anywhere within this cone. As you can see, as the days go on, this cone gets wider. Um, as the days are shorter, going into uh, you know later today and early Tuesday, this cone becomes narrower because that means the confidence is increasing. There is still a chance, um, certainly there is still time for the center of circulation to remain offshore um, in Puerto Rico and, and potentially even miss the Virgin Islands. But as each hour goes on, this cone becomes uh, more narrow. So um, this is the, and let me toggle on the um, forecast track line so you can see. I don't know why it's not going on. There it is. So like I said, it looks like they're, they're splitting the difference between the European and the American, taking this line right through the center of Puerto Rico, entering south the uh, extreme southeastern coast, and exiting uh, extreme northwestern, um, the Aguadilla area. Let's look at the, um, so we saw the model output. Now, this is, this is, this is very important. Uh, this is the, um, uh, the hurricane watch information. This is information for the San Juan area. Latest local forecast for winds, equivalent category three hurricane force winds. Peak wind forecast, 95 to 115 miles per hour with gusts to 145 miles per hour. Window for tropical storm force winds, Tuesday evening until Thursday morning. Window for hurricane force winds, early Wednesday morning until early uh, Thursday morning. Current threat to life and property, it's extreme. The wind, threat, the wind threat has remained nearly steady from the previous assessment. Uh, emergency plans should include a reasonable threat for major hurricane force winds greater than 110 miles per hour or equivalent category three intensity or higher. Uh, you should be planning for the potential for devastating to catastrophic wind impacts. That means everything outside should be secure in your house. If, if you go outside in these conditions, uh, the threat to your life is, uh, is extreme. Um, this, is light, this is a life-threatening situation if you're exposed to these conditions. Um, potential impacts, devastating to catastrophic. Widespread power outages with some areas experiencing long-term outages. Uh, storm surge, uh, life-threatening storm surge possible, two to four feet. Current threat to life and property, moderate from the storm surge. Uh, and potential impacts are significant. Flooding rain, 12 to 18 inches, locally higher amounts. Current threat to life and property, extreme. You should take that seriously if you're in a low-lying area. Potential impacts, devastating to catastrophic. Tornado, situation is favorable for tornadoes. Should uh, always have, if you, if you live in a house, you should, you should uh, have an interior space that you can escape to in the event of a tornado. Let's take a look at the hurricane watch information for Mayaguez. So we were just now in the San Juan area, and now we're looking at the West Coast. Latest local forecast, category two hurricane force winds, 90 to 110 with gusts to 145, early Wednesday morning until early Thursday afternoon. Uh, window for hurricane force winds, Wednesday morning until early Thursday morning. Current threat to life and property, also extreme. Should be planning uh, to mitigate these winds. You shouldn't go outside. You should secure everything outside, and you should also um, obviously be in a safe place. Uh, devastating to catastrophic potential impacts. Storm surge life threatening. Uh, impact from the storm surge extensive. 18 to 12 inches of rain, locally higher amount. So this forecast is indicating that um, there are slightly more impacts the further east you go. Uh, which uh, corresponds with the, let me go back to the 11 a.m. update, which corresponds to um, the current uh, possible path of uh, Maria uh, bisecting the island of Puerto Rico. Uh, the northeastern quadrant of the storm is the most extreme, so that would put, if it does follow this exact line, that would put San Juan uh, and vicinity in the most extreme portion of Maria. Now, as I had said earlier, I just want to reiterate that this eye could be passing anywhere within this cone. Don't, you know, don't take this verbatim. It could pass to the south, it could pass to the north. However, this is a life-threatening situation for everyone in Puerto Rico and also the surrounding islands. 
Um, certainly, uh, U.S. Virgin Islands and the islands to the east do not need another impact. So you should be, uh, it's Monday, 11.15 a.m. You should be planning um, to be sheltering in place by, you know, sometime tomorrow afternoon. Your preparations sh should be completed by tomorrow morning. So, you, you, ha you know, you have a good 24 hours or so. Um, so you need to take this threat seriously. Uh, Maria is not showing any signs of weakening. On the contrary, she's showing signs of strengthening. Uh, currently a major hurricane category three. Um, there is a potential that she could be up to a category four um, by on approach to Puerto Rico Wednesday morning. <sighs> wow. So that's it for now. Um, if anything changes later, I might do another video. If not, you'll see uh, some text updates. But let's just take a look one, one more time at the uh, um, rapidly strengthening Maria. You can see all this convection. The eye is right there. And um, that's it for now. Take care.